Adding a guest to an OBS stream is not difficult. There are apps out there that can help make it really easy to do, and they're totally free. Pretty much any number of guests as well. Let me show you how to do it today. So you know what? Let's get to it. The app I wanna show you today is called Video Ninja. It's a totally free open source program that makes it easy to add as many guests as you want to your live stream. It also makes it easy for your guests to connect their cameras, microphones, and they can even connect with nothing more than their cell phone. There are links in the description if you wanna check it out. Let me show you how to set it up. So here we are on the Video Ninja and for the purposes of what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a room. And you just wanna put your room name in here. In my case, we're gonna call this one OBS Michael. And we can put an optional password. I don't mess around with any of this stuff. Now I'm gonna enter the room under the director's role. And then the first thing I'm gonna do is go down and customize a couple of things here. I wanna go ahead and show display names so that the people that are there know who they're talking to and all that good stuff. And then I'm gonna go down here and enable my video camera. Now, if you don't get anything that comes up here, you could go ahead and bring this up. You can select your video source, your audio source, and how you're listening to your guests, which would be your headphones, hopefully any digital video or anything like that you can apply that there's all kinds of really really cool stuff that you can do including uh using virtual backgrounds or applying just an anonymous mask or an icon or something like that if you would really like to you can also add your own solo link but i'll show you how to do that later now we are all set up we want to go ahead and click here so that we can uh, make sure that everyone hears us and now all we have to do is add guests. And in order to do that, the link that we're going to use is this one right here. So you just copy your link and then email it or however you want to get it to all of your users. That's all you have to do is send it that way. So let me go ahead and message my users to let them know that we are ready to go. This is what the guest sees. They're going to get a link and when they click that link, it will come up to this here, join room with camera, and it automatically selects a camera and a microphone, but you can go ahead and use drop downs to change it if you like. And then you can also test it. Once your camera's ready to go, it will pop up here and it will say start. And once you click start, it will just pop you into this room here and it will be populated by everyone else who's in the room as well. And really it's that simple for a guest to connect. It doesn't matter whether they're using their cell phone or a webcam or a professional camera, whatever they're using. In this case, Michael's using a webcam and Trevor is using a professional camera. The connection is going to be the same. So we should have our guests connecting any moment now. And there we got Trevor. So we can click right here and we can label so that we know and everyone else knows who they are. And then we can lock that up. And Trevor is number one, of course. <laughs> And we're just waiting for Michael to connect. And there we go. Same thing, add a label. And boom, we can lock that up. And Michael is number two. There we go. Okay, so I have Trevor and I have Michael in here. And we're going to open up OBS over here. And what I'm going to do is we're going to create a guest scene. So I'm just going to click the plus And I'm going to create a new scene. Actually, we're going to do that under our scenes window. And we'll call this one guests. And we'll click OK. And then all I have to do is go over into our Video Ninja over here. And I can copy Michael's link right here. And then when I go into OBS, what I'm going to do is click the plus, And we're going to go to Browser. And I will just call this one Michael. And click OK. And then I can copy my browser source in here. And we want to make it 1920 by 1080. And we're gonna use control audio via OBS so that we get Michael's audio. And we can click OK. And you're gonna see, there we have Michael right there. And we can go ahead and shrink him or make him bigger or whatever we wanna do. And then I'm gonna click the plus and we're gonna add Trevor. So we go to our browser, we'll add Trevor. 
and we'll click OK. And then I have to go back into Video Ninja and get Trevor's link, which is this one right here. And we'll go into our OBS and we'll paste that link in here. 1920 by 1080 and use audio control via OBS and boom. So now there we go and we can yeah full screen we'll make that there and we'll put that there obviously you're gonna have to play around with the sizes here or you can just make them one quarter the size if you know what that is what we would obviously want to do is add your camera so we'll go into video capture device and we should already have our main camera in here which we do we can just add that in shrink it up and there we go now we've got three people in one chat room super simple and easy to set up and you can see that their audio is in here go ahead and say something michael there we go and trevor so there we go you guys can't hear what they're saying but i can tell you that the audio is working i'm hearing it right in here it's really that simple to add guests now there's also a really cool feature that you can do by just adding the group. So I can click the plus right here and I can go to our browser source and I can just label it guests and click OK. And we'll set it to 1920 by 1080. And we're going to use our audio control and all we have to do is go over here and get this link right here, the capture group scene. And we'll go over here. And we'll paste that capture group scene in here and click OK. And that puts both of our guests in here at the same time. You can just move them up. <laughs> and Trevor is being held against his will, as you can see. And, and I can add my camera in here. And there we go. And you will notice that the audio now uh, either, no matter which guest talks, you're only getting it through one audio feed. And that's the downside of using group. So they can both talk, but it only gets one feed. Whereas if we load them in individually, e each individual can talk. I can adjust their audio volume or even mute one of those audio volumes um, if we have a rowdy guest or something like that. So I generally tend to think that using the solo ad uh, right here is better than using the group ad, but that's you know, you can you do you see I told you it was easy Now you're gonna be streaming guests for some awesome segments in no time at all Now this is just the basics of what video ninja can do if you want to see me do a deeper dive Let me know in the comments down below and if you want to see another way to add guests to your OBS live stream You should check this video out and if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.